Xin chào. Uh, you know, last weekend I had a workshop and I met uh, 55 business leaders. And I asked them, I said, what is it that is the most frustrating for you? Now they had different answers, but the most common answer that they gave me was uh, actually a demand generation and growth. This is what frustrates them. And I'm not surprised. It is what frustrates most of the leaders around the world. The reason is, this is the number one agenda for every business leader. How do I create demand and how do I grow? Whether I grow linear or whether I grow exponential or whether I grow as multiplier 2x, 3x, 4x, 5x, regardless of what growth curve you want to ride, you have to grow. And therefore, that emerges to be one of the most important difficult issue to grab. You see, many companies fail in the area where many others succeed. Same industry, but yet they fail. And when we study why they fail and why others succeed, one of the biggest reasons that comes out is the sales and marketing. Lack of understanding of consumer or lack of understanding of the markets. Uh, Australian Center for Business Growth recently did a survey and they approached many CEOs and asked them a question. If they have had experience of a business failure, what exactly was the reason? Why did the business fail? And based on the replies, they summarized the top five reasons of why businesses fail. Number one reason, you guessed it right. It was sales and marketing. Once again, around how do we acquire customers? How do we retain customers? How do we actually manage customers? This is therefore one of the key success factors we must all recognize. Now, it is interesting to know what these winning companies do that many others fail to do. Uh, I observed many of them. I myself was a part of several Fortune 500 successful winning companies. And I noticed that such companies follow a typical pattern of three stages of customer appeal, attracting customers. The first stage that they follow is what is called the stage of knowing your customer. The understanding of the customer, their behavior uh, is absolutely fabulous. The second stage that they go through is the stage of actually knowing your story. All companies have to tell their story, which should be compelling to make customers buy and consume their services and products. So what's your story? And the third stage that such companies go through is what is called the stage of how to play the marketing orchestra. Marketing is actually a combination of several uh, elements and how do you play them together so they create a great symphony? This is a very important part. So I have those practices that companies follow, which I decided to do a workshop on and help you to understand the tools that you can use to go through these stages and build a very strong, very capable, very futuristic sales and marketing management system. So join that workshop and till you decide, let me leave behind five pearls of wisdom as thoughts for you. Number one, sales and marketing is all about solving customer problems. It's not about selling your products and services. Interesting. Number two, the toughest job in sales and marketing is building trust. Isn't it? Number three, all employees in your companies are actually sales and marketing person. Regardless of what they do, they're leaving impressions. Number four, there is no second position in sales and marketing. You're either a winner or you're a loser. And the fifth one is about checking the power of your brand. You want to check that? Don't check what you think it is. Check on what your customers think it is. So think about it. Enjoy my workshop. See you later.